Hi everyone, my name is AJ and I'm studying psychology with British Sign Language at the University of Sussex. Now in this video I'm going to talk a bit about student finance and just financing at university and some of my three top tips. So when you come to university you might decide to stay at home and live with your family or your guardians and commute to work every day the same way you commute to school every day. Or you might want to move out like me, so I moved from London to Brighton and I'm paying for my rent, I'm paying for my clothes, my food, my travels, I'm getting on the bus, I'm paying for everything that really I need to live. So those are called living costs. Um, the, big, the big funding that I get for my living costs is something called my maintenance loan. So when you come to university there are two different loans you get, is a tuition loan to pay for your course and the resources at university and the second loan is called the maintenance loan. That's there to help pay for your living costs. Now, lots of students do get a maintenance loan, but sometimes we want to make a bit more money. So you'll often find that lots of students get part-time work. So for me, the way I finance my living is through my maintenance loan. And I work two part-time jobs. So this is one of them, student ambassador. Um, and what I do as a student ambassador is I do campus tours and I do things like this. And my other job is I work at the cafes and restaurants on campus as well as a customer service assistant. Getting a part-time job is a really good way to gain experience and make some extra money if you want a bit more extra spending money or if you want to put that towards your travel costs or your living costs. Lots of my friends have work in lots of different areas. They work in town, in the city, some of them do tutoring. So it's completely up to you if you want a, um, a part-time job. Another way that I've been able to fund my university experience and my living costs is through a scholarship programme. Now, there are lots of different scholarship programmes and bursaries, and what that basically means is free money. So sometimes you're eligible for free money. Maybe that might be you did really good in your A-levels. So um, a university might offer you a bursary because you, you got really good grades. Um, something that I'm part of is called the First Generation Scholarship Scheme, but this has changed and this was only at Sussex. So this content, with my experience, won't be the same. So make sure you go onto the website and find out more information. But my experience was I got um, £3,000 in my first year to help with my living costs, to help pay for my books and stuff. And then in my second year, I got £1,500 and in this year I got £1,000. This was really useful and this helped me pay for my, my books and my living costs. Now, like I said, this information is not the same now and every university will offer lots of different scholarships and lots of different bursaries. So make sure you look up bursaries. So if you are thinking about going to a certain university, look up that university and then type in bursaries and scholarships and it will come up with a list of bursaries and you can find out if you're eligible for them. So the three top tips I would have is, one, if you go to university, try and get a part-time job. That's a great way to make extra cash, make new friends and gain some experience. Two, try and search up if you are eligible for bursaries and scholarships. And three, when you're filling out your UCAS form, there is a, there's a box that says share my information. Make sure you tick this and consent to this because the company will automatically look at your details and they will let you know if you are eligible for bursaries and scholarships. So make sure you tick that box. I hope this was helpful and thank you for listening. Take care everyone. Bye bye.